Welcome back to the Vince, a.k.a. Vinny Show. It's your boy, Vince, a.k.a. Vinny. Back uh, with, 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 uh, I think you uh, know this guy. Uh, some, some of our, some of our most viewed video, yeah. Huh. Yeah, most viewed videos, sure. Um, Andre, a.k.a. Dre. Thanks yeah. for joining us, Andre. Yeah. <coughs> okay, we're good. All right. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsors, Island Proper, Traders and Outfitters, Gabriella Ross, Young No Gamer, which has changed to Luke's Alive, L-U-S-C-A. L I V E, that's a word. Um, and um, yeah, don't forget to check them out on Instagram at Iowa Proper Traders and Outfitters. They're in Beaufort, North Carolina. They're a really cool clothing shop. Get this sweet hat like I did. But um, let's get into the video. All right, we'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, so now we're going to be talking about the trade deadline for the MLB. Who needs to buy the most and who needs to sell the most? All right, Andre's going to go ahead and start us here. Okay. Who do you so, think needs to buy the most? I think that the Red Sox are a contender. Sorry. I think the Red Sox are they're already a contender, but I think that they're going to need to buy the post the most for the postseason. I think that they need more. Bo- they can add it, always add an arm in the bullpen. They can always add an arm in the rotation. A good. Well, righty. that's that's like any team. They can add a good righty in the rotation. Well, I mean, they are literally the left and left, left the left. Yeah, yeah. they can add. They can add a Price, righty. Uh, Pomerantz. Yeah, and sale and and uh, one of Rodriguez. Yeah, and they also I think that the Red Sox if they're going to contend in the playoffs, if they're going to have to play the Yankees or the Astros, they're going to need to add more depth to their um, lineup. So who's somebody you would think they would need? I would say Mike Mustakis before he got traded. He would have been a good piece for them. Um, but they have Devers. Yeah, I know, but they need to be. Here's, here's a, he doesn't have to be the greatest player in the world. Um, Adrian Gonzalez. For, um, he was on, put, got put on DL. He got not DL. He got put on. He got put on waivers. Um, he would be a good because he would be a good player that they could pick up, add some power off the bench, or maybe even start a couple games for. All right. So Andre thinks they need to buy the most. Who I I, I think needs to buy the most, other than my Mariners who have been scuffed a little bit, are the Yankees. Okay. The Yankees I feel are. In need because they're start they're not falling behind but Aaron Judge has start, got put on the DL and he's going to be there for three weeks and that means that they're not going to have one of their best players in the lineup and that means they're probably going to scuff a little bit not saying anything but it's just straight facts okay and I feel like they just need to get that piece just for three or so weeks they have a great farm system to call somebody up there yeah they need to call they need to call Cliff Frazier back up. He's really needs to play the outfield instead of his Aaron Judge's hurt. Yeah, so I feel like that's just something the Yankees, since they lost their good p- player, they're going to fall behind a little bit. And I don't, I just think the Red Sox are too good now that they can't fall behind anymore. All right, who ne- who do you think needs to sell? Sell the most. Um, or I build. Sell the most. Um, I would say the Orioles, but the Orioles have already sold off everything they have and a bag of chips. Um. But I really think um, a team that needs to sell the most would probably be the Reds. Um, they're not; they haven't been contending for a while. They have a couple of really good. But they're pieces. doing good now. I mean, but they're still not contending. Okay. Yeah. So Joey Votto, he's been there forever. He's prime. His prime's almost over for Joey Votto. Um, Scooter Jeanette. Scooter Jeanette. He needs. He could get sold off. Um, I wouldn't. Don't be surprised. Um, Billy Hamilton, I mean, he's not the greatest hitter in the world, but any team can revive, can need to use him as a platoon player, bring speed off the bench, or ha- or get on base, steal bases, pitch, pitch runner. Here's the thing, I think the NL is, um, the AL is kind of, you kind of know most of the playoff teams right now. There's a few teams like the Athletics and the Mariners who have kind of stayed close to each other, but the NL is just a wild loose chase right now. Yeah. Every every division, especially the Central, is like a four-team race or at least a three-team race. And so you just kind of have to make sure you're going to have to add a lot more pieces. Like, I like the Mike Moustakis trade. I mean, the Royals aren't doing much back there. Um, I, watched, I was watching MLB Network. Um, I was going to say Whit Merrifield might be shipped out from the Royals, but um, he um, was already confirmed that they're not going to trade him, which I like that move. Whit Merrifield, he's really young, and he's a rising star. I really like him, um, so hopefully he can stay with the team of his choice, and hopefully he can do something with his career that's good like he's already doing. Um, somebody sell, I was also going to say Baltimore, because Baltimore is like 700 games behind. Yeah, but and they're not, sold. But they've sold Zach Britt and Manny Machado, two probably their best players. 
I still think they could get something for like Kevin Gosman or Dylan Bundy, another starting pitcher, and Adam Jones or Mark Trumbo. So, um, Tim Buck, uh, Chris Davis has lost all of his value after having like three billion strikeouts this year. So I really think the Orioles have already sold pretty much everybody they have, and that's why I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, I forgot. Um, I, I think it's going to be an NL team of somebody that just needs a little bit more. So I think it's going to be the Pirates. Pirates are super close. They're coming back here. They have a pretty good uh, rotation, but they lost a lot of people um, like Andrew McCutcheon, Garrett Cole. So those are a lot of guys that you really miss. But um, they're, they're contending right now, so I feel like they need one more piece. And, I mean, they've really... Just like somebody that nobody's really heard of that they could get to push over. Okay. All right. So that's who we think. Andre, you said buy the most would be the buy the most would be the Red Sox, and the sell the most would be the the Reds. The Reds. I do like Scooter Jeanette. I kind of thought he would be like a Milwaukee guy, but he already did that, and you know. But Scooter Jeanette's having a great year, and um, yeah. So, and I said a buy the most would be the Yankees. Just get that little step ahead. And uh, sell the most, I said, was the Pirates. Excuse me, sell the most. I meant buy the most. Okay. So, yeah, sorry. Just, like, get some more. Wow, wow I screwed that up. All right. Back to the Vince AK Vinny show. To, now we're going to talk about the trade deadline that's coming up July 31st. Who needs to sell the most? Who needs to buy the most? We're going to start with buy the most. And, Andre, you go ahead and I start. think that the Red Sox need to buy the most. Um, I think that they could add another righty to their rotation or their bullpen. Someone in the playoffs that can go ahead and get um, get out righties. And, he's, um, and then I also think that they need to add more, more depth to their lineup. I think that maybe, like, a good power bat. Yeah, Shady Martinez. I come off the bench or maybe be hit in the back end of that order. Because if you're looking at the Yankees are stacked from top to bottom, the Astros are stacked from top to bottom. The they Mariners are ta- stacked from top to That's bottom. That's not true. But I think that they need one more piece. The Yankees are garbage. Really contend. The Yankees are garbage. I need to tissue for that. <laughs> All right, so um, now I'm going to talk about who I need, who needs to buy the most. And I'm going to go ahead and say that it's going to be the Braves. The Braves are really close. They're going to they're starting to slip a little bit in the NL East. Hopefully they can get a they they're, they're really close. I'm I'm a really big fan of the Braves. Um so I I think they just need that one more piece. They got Freddie Freeman. Sweet. They got Freddie Freeman. They've got Ozzy Albies, Acuna, Acuna, Acuna. 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 I, why am I thinking of you? I'm Acuna. And they got Mike fulton which has been a really, really nice piece. Um, they're a really good team. They're just this close to being right there, um, leading the NL East. So, um, yeah. Who do you think's going to sell on Dre that left the camera? Um, I think the team that's going to sell the most will be the Reds. The Reds because of that, the fact that they have so much good, they have so much good. But Joey Votto, he's a fan favorite. Yeah, I know, but they've had a decent amount of good talent. But they think that they need to start the rebuild. They don't have much there that is resulting in the wins. Um, Not Joey Votto, Scooter, Jeanette, Daniel Suarez. Yeah, but they're not getting the job done, as you see. Yeah, I know. And you've traded, and you can get some pretty decent players. Uh, yeah, I do think you get. I've seen a lot of the trades. It hasn't been like MLB player for MLB player. It's been like Manny Machado. He had a four, like four prospects. Same with Britain. And there's just a um, Musakis had a big trade stuff. So I, I really think all these teams that are selling right now are just smell, just smacking the reload button. They're not just or re, um, um, rebuild button. And they're kind of forgetting about this season and next season, stuff like that. So they're just kind of like doing what the Marlins are doing right now. Yeah. All right, who well, I think needs to sell the most, I've already really done this. Um, I think it's going to be the another rebuilding team. And that's what I think it's going to be the Mets. Jacob DeGrom has got through the roof potential and value. Sam with Noah Syndergaard, if he can stay healthy. They already got mid- rid of Matt, he- Matt Hardy, which I, I would not put in. You know that Syndergaard is only the yell for having hand, foot, and mouth disease. The dude like can like you can touch him and you get contagious, bro. Yeah. The dude is like prone to everything. 
So that's one question I have about Noah Syndergaard. Jacob DeGrom, he's an all-out superstar now. I do think he's going to stay with the big market team. And um, you have some other people like Estrubal Cabrera that you just traded, which I like that trade. And you're just going to keep doing prospects. So rebuilding teams, that's what I think are selling teams. Buying teams are just that tad bit that they need. And, um, yeah. All right, we'll be right back with the end. Be right back. Guys, thanks for watching with Audre, hey. a.k.a. Dre. And thanks for joining us. And Vince, a.k.a. Vinny, as always, because it's my show, unless I have a guest show, which probably won't happen. Yeah. But um, thanks for joining us, Andre. Hey, you're welcome. My best friend. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Tom, if you have any suggestions you want me to talk about, give me a, a or opinion, you can contact me on Instagram at the Vince, a.k.a. Vinny Show. And uh, Andre, you want to you wanna shout out? Um, shout out to, if we go follow Andre underscore one, two, three, one, zero. Yeah. So um, thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.